Hello everyone, this is Steve Swenson from TaxSellSupport.com. Uh, we wanted to uh, go ahead and go through and talk a little bit about North Carolina today and just kind of explain how North Carolina tax sales work, the tax foreclosure process in North Carolina, and really kind of how to go about purchasing uh, tax deeds in uh, the state of North Carolina. So North Carolina uses a tax deed method to conduct their tax sales. So essentially they, they go through what's called a tax foreclosure process where they actually foreclose on the properties and they offer the properties up for sale. Now the tax deed auctions in North Carolina can happen throughout the year. It's just based on the county's inventory. So as the county has delinquent properties come up, they'll go ahead and offer those properties for sale. So it's a great state for purchasing tax deed properties, and we'll go through and talk about some of the benefits of investing in North Carolina tax deeds. So as far as the foreclosure process, after the tax has been delinquent for about three to four years, the county's going to start it. Uh, they're going to start sending out letters. They're going to start the court proceedings to go through the foreclosure. Now, once the foreclosure has been started, the county needs to send out certified uh, notices to all the property owners, and then the property owner has 30 days to repay those, those property taxes. Now, at that point, if the property owner doesn't pay those property taxes, then the county is going to run a title search on the property. Uh, essentially, once they've run that title search, then they're going to start the foreclosure process. Uh, because in, the reason they run the title search is because they're going to need to contact anyone uh, that's essentially on that title to let them, ne them know th they're going through the foreclosure process. It can generally take between 9 to 12 months. So that's kind of how it works. Now, now that's kind of behind the scenes because essentially what we see is we see the current auction list. So we see the properties that come up for sale once all of this has taken place. So what happens at the pre-sale process? Well, counties are going to advertise the property in the local newspaper for at least one week before the sale. Uh, on taxsellsupport.com, uh, we get those lists generally about um, uh, three to four weeks before because we're constant. We have essentially set up with the counties uh, to be able to get a lot of those lists. Uh, now, once the property owner, uh, once that uh, property has been advertised, we mentioned the property owner has up until the day of the auction to redeem the property. So once the auction has started, essentially that property owner has lost their property. Now most of the auctions are going to be held at the county courthouse. So there's no online sales up to this point offered in North Carolina. And if you're going to participate in the auction, you need to register before the sale. Now, as far as North Carolina, they use a premium bid method, which essentially means they're going to bid up the price of the property. Similar to an eBay auction or, or most type of auctions, the bidding's going to start. Uh, let's say it starts at $1,000, and then it's going to go up from there. Uh, let's say the property ends at $3,000. The $3,000, the highest bidder, they're awarded the property. Now, they're going to use an oral bid. Uh, which essentially sometimes they'll go ahead and give you cards and you'll put those up uh, and essentially it's it's kind of like a live auction. You're just going to be bidding up the property. Now the opening bid is going to start at all the delinquent taxes, penalties, and fees up to that point. So all essentially uh, you're going to be paying back everything uh, that – if you're buying that property, you're going to be paying back everything that's owed on, on the delinquent taxes. Now, as far as the acceptable formats of payment, they're going to be made by cash, cashier's check, or certified funds. Uh, you can check with the county to see if they allow any other types of payment methods, but those are generally the most common ones. Now, North Carolina is unique because they have what's called an upset bid process. Now, Following the auction, anyone can submit a higher bid within 10 days of the sale. So this can is you know has both negatives and positives. Uh, if you're the one who have purchased that property, somebody else can go ahead and submit a bid uh, within 10 days of the sale for a higher price and become the high bidder. Uh, so that would be a negative from that standpoint. It's a positive from an investor standpoint that's going to be coming in and making bid on properties. Uh, within that time frame. So maybe uh, you know you could actually not attend the auction and then upset bid on the property and win the property without actually attending the sale. Now as far as this upset bid process and how the bid process works, the new bid amount must increase the winning bid by 10% for the first thousand and then an additional 5% for every thousand after that. So as far as an example, if there's a $10,000 bid amount $1,000 of that is going to be at 10% and 
and then $9,000 is going to be a 5%. So if there's a $10,000 bid, we would have to bid 10550 to essentially become the new bidder or the high bidder. Uh, and so once an upset bid has been filled, then a new 10-day upset bid, uh, period begins. Uh, so essentially, uh, you know, you can just continue upset bidding until uh, that 10 day has passed and nobody has bid and then you become the property owner. Uh, so, you know, there's negatives and positives behind it. Uh, the positive being that, you know, that other investors, particularly uh, us, can go in there and, and submit a higher bid and become the new property owner. And it may take a couple of rounds, but uh, essentially there's some pretty good properties that can be purchased in North Carolina. That's one thing about the, the, this particular state is the real estate market there is pretty good. And some of the properties that are sold are, are really pretty good properties that are being picked up at anywhere between 10 to 40 cents on the dollar. Uh, so if you can get a good property for 10 to 40 cents on the dollar in, in, in good markets in North Carolina, then it really it's a no brainer. So uh, essentially all the properties must go through this upset this upset bid 10-day process. Now, once the 10-day period is expired, the property is going to be legally sold to the highest bidder. And then 30 days following the sale, that tax deed is going to be milled, uh, mailed out to the, to, the, to the new property owner. Um, also, a tax deed uh, will be sent to the commissioner's um, the property owner will be either sent a commissioner's deed or a quick claim deed. Those are essentially the two types of deeds that you'll receive uh, by purchasing Car uh, Carolina tax deeds. Now, as far as over-the-counter, uh, over-the-counter properties are sold by the tax administration or the board of commissions, and the counties often refer to these over-the-counter properties as county surplus or county-owned. So that's something we're going to be looking for as we're looking for over-the-counter list. Now, TaxSellSupport.com currently has about 32 uh, county list uh, um, for North Carolina over-the-counter deeds in our database. So that's essentially something that we offer uh, through our membership website. So as far as uh, the four over-the-counter bid steps, the first thing you need to do is submit a bid that includes a bid deposit of 5% of the offer amount to the Board of Commissioners. Now the Board of Commissioners is going to pass what's called a resolution declaring the property as surplus and authorizing an upset bid process. So even though over-the-counter properties are still going to go through this upset bid process, they're just not going to have like a regular auction for it. It's just going to be advertised within the newspaper and then the 10-day process will begin. Uh, now once the 10-day process has essentially went through, the successful bidder will will have the opportunity to pay the remaining ba balance of the property and then send the property deed. Uh, so that's essentially uh, how North Carolina works. It can be a great state for tax deed investing. Uh, the upset bid process gives out-of-state investors the chance to buy property without actually attending the auction. So I almost kind of look at it like a little bit of an over-the-counter where we may have to go through a process, but if I can pick up the property uh, for uh, the price that I'm looking at, then, then it's going to be a great investment. Uh, so tax deeds can be purchased anywhere between 10 to 50 percent of, of market value. Now, if you have uh, any more questions on how to get started with tax lien and tax deed investing, go ahead and download our ebook at secretsoftaxleaninvesting.com. 